My name is Alex Singh, and I'm going to be presenting exam one solutions problem 1B. So this is a ranking problem, and we are asked to rank the moralities of three different solutions. The first solution has 0 0.0382 grams of sodium chloride in 250 milliliters of water. The second solution is a 0 0.0344 molar solution of sodium chloride in 300 milliliters of water. The last solution has 0 0.542 grams of sodium chloride in 750 milliliters of ethanol. So as a reminder, molality is equal to the moles of solute over the mass of the solvent in kilograms. So for the first part, we have to convert 0 0.0382 grams of NaCl into moles. And so we divide by the molar mass, which is 58.443 grams, to get that we have 6.54 times 10 to the negative 4 moles of NaCl, which is our solute, which is the top, the numerator of the molality equation. So then for the mass of the solvent, you know, we have 250 milliliters of water, and we know that the density of water is one gram is equal to one milliliter. Finally, we have to convert to kilograms because the molality equation demands kilograms. That leaves us with 0 0.250 kilograms of solvent. Plugging it into our molality equation, we get 6.54 times 10 to the negative four moles of solute divided by 0 0.250 kilograms of solvent, which gives us 0 0.0261 molality. So the second part is a little bit different because we're given molarity instead of molality. So if we can remember that molarity is equal to moles solvent over volume in liters. And that's the volume of the entire solution. So for this problem, since the NaCl takes up such little space, it has such a small mass compared to that of water, we can assume that the volume of the solution is equal to the volume of the water. So we have 0 0.300 liters, and we're going to multiply that by our molarity, which is 0 0.0344 moles of NaCl per liter to get how many moles are in our 0 0.3 liters. And that will get us 0 0.01032 moles of NaCl. So now we have the numerator of our molality equation and to solve for the denominator, we have to find out the mass of the solvent in kilograms. So similar to last time, we do 300 milliliters of water times the density of water, which is one gram is equal to one milliliters. And then we convert from grams to kilograms because that's what the molality equation needs. It needs kilograms. That gives us 0 0.300 kilograms. And then from there, and plug it into our molality equation, 0 0.01032 moles divided by 0 0.300 kilograms to get 0 0.0344 molality. Finally, for the last part, we have 0 0.542 grams of NaCl in 750 milliliters of ethanol. So we have to be careful to pay attention to the density of ethanol because it's not the same density as water. So for the first part, we have to find the moles of our solute. So we multiply the mass by one over the molar mass, which we said before was 58.443 grams to get that there are 0.0. 
0 0.00927 moles of NaCl. Then again, we have to find the mass of our solvent. This time we have 750 milliliters of ethanol. And the problem tells us the density of ethanol is 0 0.789 grams per milliliter. And then again, the molality equation demands kilograms. So we have to convert to kilograms from grams. That will give us 0 0.0157 molality. So now for the ranking, if we look at all three of our answers, we can see that number two is greater than number one, which is greater than number three. To recap, the purpose of this problem was to compare the molality of three different solutions. In the first and third solutions, we were given the mass of the solute, and in the second solution, we were given the molarity of the solute. We also needed to utilize the density of the solvent in solving for molality.